Welcome. So I'm Anna Arison um, from the LaGrange Association Library, and this is the first interview um, in our interview series. So, Mr. Bell, tell us a little about yourself. Well, my name's Alan Bell. I'm the town supervisor for the town of LaGrange. Um, I've lived in the community for, oh, probably a little over 40 years. Uh, I'm married and my wife and I have lived in our current home for about 30 years. Um, also a member of the local Rotary Club. And prior to being sur uh, supervisor, I served on a number of town boards and committees for probably, I don't know, upwards of 30 years um, as well. Um, I, I worked for IBM for many, many years before I became town supervisor. And I love the town of Grange and uh, like doing things like playing golf, riding my bicycle, and spending time with my family, several members of which also live in the town of Grange. That's awesome. It's so wonderful to have someone so dedicated. What's your favorite book? I'm a librarian, this is required. Oh boy. <laughs> um, I, I'm not going to pick one, but I'll tell you that I, I mostly read uh, nonfiction. So I read history and uh, that kind of thing. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So you had said previously that you and your family have been in LaGrange for a really long time. Why did you choose to live here? Well, I, I, I first moved when I first moved to LaGrange, it was because uh, I was right out of college. I had just gotten a job and I found an apartment that I was staying in in LaGrange. Um, but when my wife and I bought our house, um, to be honest, we, we ended up in LaGrange because the house that we saw that we liked the most happened to be in LaGrange. <laughs> but um, LaGrange was on our short list of communities. There was probably yeah. only two or three really looking at it, but, you know, proximity to work plus really quality of life issues. Uh, I, I think LaGrange is a beautiful town. It has great people, um, good schools. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, that had a whole lot to do with where we, uh, where we looked. That's awesome. Um, so what is your favorite place in LaGrange? So you had mentioned um, golfing, biking. Do you do a lot of stuff in our parks? I do. Um, that's a tough question. Um, I do enjoy the local businesses and local restaurants quite a bit. Um, there's something a little bit unique about uh, local businesses and local restaurants that are a little bit different than the big chains. Uh, it's more, more common for you to know the person behind the counter and know who they are, including the owner of the business, for example. And I kind of like that. But my Probably my favorite places in the town are really uh, the parks, uh, which includes our town parks, which I may a bit be a little bit biased, but I believe uh, our, our, our park system in the town is probably the best in the county. Uh, we, of course, also have Baird State Park, which is a beautiful place with a golf course, I might add. Um, I guess my favorite uh, of all of that would be Freedom Park, which is our, our main park where our lake is and uh, where we have most of our large town events. It's, it's named after uh, the original name of the town of LaGrange. It was originally named uh, Freedom and changed the name to LaGrange several years after that because there were other towns named Freedom and they needed to have a unique name. But I love that park. It's, a, it's truly a beautiful park. And if people haven't been there, it's worth a visit. I love it there. It's so great. I love the uh, playing in the band shell. I did that yeah, in high too. school, you yeah. know. I I also I love that fun fact because that that ended up happening like across the, you know, the colonies right after, um, like things were forming and like, you know, we had we had beaten the British and everyone was just so excited, and then the post office was like, there are too many of these. <laughs> You know, yeah. and we had I, actually th I actually think it was the, the state that just said we can't have more than one town with that name in 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 New York State. There was another town that formed only a couple of years before us. It was up really someplace near Buffalo or thereabouts. And of course, the story about it changing its name is interesting as well because um, around the time we're talking about, um, the country was celebrating its fiftieth uh, 
anniversary of the Declaration of Independence, and the president invited Lafayette, the Lafayette, to visit uh, the United States as part of the celebration. And he toured the whole country, and which was a hugely popular thing. And Lagrange is actually named after his family homestead in, in France. So it's one of a so multitude good. of communities that were named as a result of that. They, you have Fayettevilles all over the United States and Lafayette University and places like that. There's, and there's a number of Lagranges actually in, uh, in other parts of the country. So it's kind of an interesting story too. I agree. Yeah, definitely. What do you think, what is significant to you about the town of Lagrange? You know, I really think the most important thing about the town is the people. I, I, I'm aware that sounds like a, a politician kind of pandering to the uh, population, but I, I sincerely believe it. Uh, the people in our town are, are genuinely good and decent people. I care deeply about not just the town, but the, each other. And um, it really, it's a, it's a genuine community, not just a place that people choose to live. And I, I, I love that about it. I, I truly do. It, one thing that really struck me was when I, the first year I was campaigning, I, I, I went door to door. And I, when I started doing that, I, I, I kind of went with a certain level of, uh, I don't know, uh, hesitancy. And, and I didn't really know what to expect. I, I kind of figured that the vast majority of people wouldn't really want to talk all that much. I found exactly the opposite. I found everybody was welcoming. Everybody not only wanted to talk to me and was interested in what I had to say, but knew a lot more about the town than I had anticipated they would know. And I think that's, I think that's really, really, a, you know, something that may not be unique, but I do think it's unusual for a town mm. to have that many people like that. And I, I just love that about the town. I truly do. That's awesome. And I'm working here as a librarian. It's just so great. Um, <clears throat> so final question. Um, yeah. And so this was prompted by something the library did a couple years ago as something where we had open communication with our community to see how we can improve, um, you know, and work together. So how do you think LaGrange can foster a stronger sense of identity? Well, community identity is really created by people doing things together. And so um, let me start by just saying, I, I, I ask people to support local businesses. As I referred to a little bit earlier, um, they're run and operated by our neighbors. And not only are, do they have you know, good businesses, but it's a way of meeting your neighbors and you know, increasing the number of people that you share experiences with. In addition to that, I, I'd encourage people to become more involved in community oriented events that could that can include anything from joining organizations such as i don't know churches or uh nonprofit organizations like the rotary and the lions club and the elks and the knights of columbus and so forth uh, but also participating in a lot of the events they run whether it's events run by the town runs events run by the uh school i'd highly recommend people uh look into the events that are held by the you know at the library there's a, a large number of things that that's run by your organization i think they're all great they bring people together they encourage a community spirit and that's really important for uh, you know creating an identity of the town as people is that sense of community and that all of that involvement really does kind of you know push that our town has uh, always had been kind of a tight knit community, but it was enhanced a great deal last year because of the pandemic, I think. Um, I have this sense that our town w went through that uh, and came out of it a little better than a lot of other communities because we were so loyal to each other and had those connections going in. I think, I think it was very common for people to think about how to support their local restaurants, for example, to make sure they didn't close. and. I don't know the exact number, but I sense a lot fewer businesses closed in LaGrange of all types than in a lot of other communities in the United States. And I think that's why I, I, I think we have, I, I think our community ought to be proud of that. And uh, that's something we ought to build on that, that sense of togetherness. Definitely. Thank you so much for the, you know, for, for answering my questions. Sure. That was the, that was the end of the list. Um,
So I really appreciate you coming and speaking with us. Sure. Thanks for, yeah. thanks for asking. I appreciate yes. it. Yes. Thank you. Um, you know, definitely look, you know, keep an eye on our calendar going forward. We're slowly working up to doing in-person programs again. So. That's great. All right. Have a great day. You too. Take Thank care. Thank you so much.